Hello everyone, welcome back to module 21 and in module 21 we are going to look at page structures. Now WordPress actually has a page structure using parent and child relationship and yes I know it sounds very strange but once I've demonstrated it to you, you will have a clear understanding and this will help not only build your own website, but help you build websites on behalf of clients. So let's jump right in here and let's go to pages. And what we want to do is add a new page. Now I've got myself super organized and I've already got my text ready. So I'm going to open that document up. This is the title for my page. So I'm going to right click, copy that, paste that in to the title, paste that. I would like to copy that and again, put that into my content editor. Let's put that in there. And I would also like to make this a heading one. I'll go back to my Word document highlight what I have created, right click, copy, let's minimize that and let's paste that in using our plain text editor. Let's paste, insert into post, just let me tidy that up with a bit of formatting and let's do a quick proofread and check to see that everything is in order. Let's change that to give. Let's change that to ability. Does that read right? If you would like to volunteer some of your ability and resources, we would welcome hearing from you. I can live with that and I might leave that as it is. Now, what I want to bring your attention to here is the page attributes because this is where the parent-child relationship is. Now at the moment this page has not been allocated to any parent at all. What I want to do is I want to make the about page the parent and this page social media contributors a child of the parent page. Now I'm going to publish and I'm going to go back to the dashboard. I'm actually going to open the site in a new tab so you can see exactly what I am talking about. So here at the moment is our about page. As soon as I hover my mouse over it, here is the page that we have created social media contributors and if I right click and open that in a new tab here is that page that we have just created. Now if I come back over to my WordPress dashboard and I go to all pages you will see here is about us and if you come down here you will see that we have a hyphen social media contributors that is telling us that this page is a child of the about us page which is the parent page and you can have as many child pages as you like under this particular page and that really is all there is to parent child relationship and page structures now if I wanted to edit this and make it a standalone page, I would simply edit. I would come back over to page attributes. I would have no parent. I will update. I will come back over to our site. I will refresh our web browser. And then you can see we have two pages, the About Us and social media contributors. But I do want that to be a child of the About page. So if I come back over here, change the page attributes again, update, come back to my web browser, 
refresh and here you can see about and here is the child page social media contributors so again thank you for listening professor clicks homework for module 21 is to go in and create an additional page go and make it a child of the about us page as a parent page and I'll quickly run through how we do that you add new create your page come over to page attributes make it a child of the about us page update open your site in a new web browser refresh and again have a look at what you've created and again the progress that you are making is outstanding so thank you for listening and I will see you in module 22. Bye for now.